Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, I've got another quiz for you. And it's a does he love me quiz. So does he love you? Find out from these 10 answers. Does he love you? We're going to find out in this quiz. All right. And if this is your first time to this channel, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos about how to have the relationship you've always wanted. So here's the questions. I'm going to go, uh, you might want to have a pencil and a piece of paper or write this down somewhere, type it in your phone, type it onto your computer, whatever you want to do. Okay. So the first question is, um, does he include you whenever he talks about his long-term future plans? The answers are A, yeah, but I can't tell if he's serious or not because he's always joking about it. B, sometimes, but the last few months, he hasn't really seemed interested. C, yes, he always asks me about how he sees us as a couple years into the future. Or D, no, we never really discuss it. It makes him all flustered and nervous. Question number two. How does he treat you most of the time compared to other girls he knows? A, he always puts attention on me and makes sure that I'm comfortable. B, he always flirts with me. He flirts with other women too, but I think he likes me a lot more. C, he treats me equally with others since he respects my body and my mind. D, he pays a lot of attention to me, but lately he seems preoccupied or busy. Three, how often does he talk about his past, his memories, his dreams, and so on? A, hardly ever. He's so mysterious, it's like I'm dating Batman. B, sometimes, but lately I've been talking so much that he barely even gets a word out. C, he did for a while, but... I think he got really uncomfortable after some conversations we had. Uh, we usually just stick to positive stuff nowadays. Or D, yes, sometimes he shares the weirdest thoughts. I'm not always sure what to say, but I let him know that I'm here to listen to him. Question number four. Does he ever buy you gifts or do little gentlemanly things that you just absolutely love? A, yes, he's so kind and polite. B, no, he doesn't really believe in all that nice guy stuff. He's way too cool for that. C, I usually buy him gifts because he's such a sourpuss. D, he did for a while, but I think he sensed it was too much because he hasn't done it lately. Question number five. How often does he text or send you some kind of message? A, all the time. It's like we're totally addicted to each other. B, sometimes, but he usually just wants sex and a favor. C, I usually text him first and then he responds, but it's pretty often. D, he's not much into texting. Question number six. Would you describe the two of you as a fun couple? A, yes, we both crack up laughing and share that weirdo sense of humor that we both have. <laughs> B, we used to, but lately he seems like he's down. C, no, we try to very, appear very professional in public. Our jobs and reputations depend upon it. Or D, I'm usually the one laughing and he's a, like a comedian sometimes. Question number seven. What kind of effect does the relationship have on you? A, I'm always anxious about how he feels or about saying the wrong things. B, ever since I met him, I am happy and feel complete in my life. C, I am always obsessing about him. He knows just what to say to push my buttons and keep me laughing. D, I enjoy spending time with him. We always cheer each other up. Question number eight. Does he ever talk about love or say I love you in some type of way? A, in subtle ways, yes, but he hasn't come out and just straight up said it. B, no, he thinks of love like that four-letter word. He did tell me that he was hurt a long time ago and hasn't ever tried loving anyone since then. C, 
He says it, but it's always in a joking or flirting kind of way. He mostly says I'm beautiful. D, not very often, but sometimes he says it and it makes me swoon. Question number nine. Does he notice the little things that make you unique as a person? Does he take pride in knowing the real you? A. Nah, he's just crazy about my big butt and boobs. B. I've never really noticed. C. I'm not really into any hobbies or anything like that. We just like having fun. D. Yes, sometimes he really surprises me by the stuff he notices that most guys just don't notice. Question number 10. Has a man ever broken your heart before this guy? A. Yes, several times. I'm glad he's somebody different. B. Yes, and it still hurts to think about it. C. Yes, I made a lot of mistakes, but I learned from it. Or D. I've never had my heart broken before. So here are the results. Uh, I'm going to try to go through this quickly so that we can get through this video. Um, number one, uh, award yourself five points for either C or two points for A. Men who don't talk about the future, they usually don't see a future um, it, with you. So if a man is nervous about commitment, he might try to joke around about the future rather than being serious about it. The good news is that if he's thinking about it at all, uh, but maybe his, uh, m maybe his heart is undecided. On the other hand, men who avoid the topic completely are obviously thinking short-term only. Number two, award yourself five points for A. Men who pay close attention to you are protective of you. They're even a little possessive of your time. On the other hand, men who are casually dating are more interested in flirting. And so if he has backed away recently, he may be having second thoughts. If he's treating you like everyone else, there's a good possibility there that you're being friend-zoned. For number three, award yourself five points for D. Weird thoughts or not, a man sharing his feelings is a great thing. It's good that you're, you're there to listen because it's all he wants to do. On the other hand, if he is still mysterious or lets you do most of the talking, it's very likely that he considers this more of a casual thing. And that might end soon. Number four, award yourself five points for A. Men who are falling in love do nice things. Men who are playing defensive, avoiding displays of affection, and avoiding anything but flirting and sex are not ready to fall in love. And that is a red flag. Red flag to notice. Number five, award yourself five points for A. If you're doing most of the texting or he texts you only for a booty call or something, then it's time to reevaluate what you're doing with this guy. If you're becoming a friend with benefits, which um, that just does not bode well for your future of a relationship. Number six, award yourself five points for A. Couples who are in love tend to laugh, have fun, and enjoy each other's sense of humor. If he hasn't been joking as much or if he's just making you laugh but never seems to laugh with you, it's likely uh, just entertaining his audience but not actually sharing his true self. And that's a could be a problem. Could be a big problem. Number seven, award yourself five points for D and one point for B. If love between the two of you is real, it has a positive and life-affirming effect on you. If you are living in anxiety and fear, the dynamic is very unbalanced. And, um, you know, make sure that you're not depending on him for your happiness because that's a horrible thing to do. You should be happy on your own with your own life first before you fall in love so that you, um, so that he can see you as strong and marriage type material. Number eight, award yourself five points for D and three points for A. Men do say I love you, but if, they are guarded, as most men tend to be. Uh, they will only utter it a, a little bit in the beginning, um, or maybe they'll try to hint around at it or joke about it just to see how you react. Sharing anything to do with love is a good sign, though. Number nine, award yourself five points for D. Men who are falling in love do notice the little things that make you you. So sexual attraction comes and goes, um, but true romance is really like 
uh, noticing and responding and appreciating your quirks, your hobbies, your passions, your personality, the little things that maybe you're scared of, you know, like maybe, you know, farting in your sleep. But he actually really loves it and appreciates it and uh, admires it. So number 10, award yourself five points for C. Once you reach a good place in your life, you'll learn to let go of resentment. Um, people do hurt us sometimes, but if we let them stay in our hearts, we, we, we are giving them the power and we are losing it. We are losing our power as human beings. And um, most people do get their heart broken once or twice before finding the right person or more times. Who knows? Who knows how many times you get your heart broken? Um, but if you notice that you seem to have a pattern of ex-boyfriends who use you and dump you, um, it might be time to reconsider your dating approach and you know maybe get out of the patterns that are keeping you stuck. So adding everything up, the number that you want to get here obviously is 50, and that is true love. That is true love sign. The closer you are to the perfect number of 50, that indicates your relationship's long-term love potential. If things are less than perfect right now, don't lose heart. Uh, just try to get him open up and to challenge him to share his true self. If there are any real you know, red flag signs, that might be something that you want to look for. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted, click on the button on the right-hand side of this video and go to our website.